Hey Capricorn, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are going to do a speed read for you today. That's right, I said speed read because Capricorn, this is not my normal in-depth, deep, super long, hour-long monthly reading for you. This is a speed read. If you would like a personal reading from me, you can hit me up at TaurusStarTarot.com. This is a love read in honor of Valentine's Day. It's not necessarily for Valentine's Day, but it's in honor of Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. It's a love read for you, Capricorn. Let's get started. You enter this reading as the Page of Pentacles. There is, uh, there is a brand new prosperous opportunity on the horizon for you. An opportunity that has to do with the Ten of Cups, having harmony and happiness and values alignment in your life, in your home, and in your relationship. The Ten of Swords comes in right there and says there's an ending to any kind of confusion that you had about this situation. The Queen of Wands comes on top of the Star card and says you are absolutely determined to have hope, faith, renewal, renewal, renewal in this situation. The King of Swords comes in and says that you are speaking your truth about this new this new opportunity, right? This manifestation of a new opportunity. The king of the king of wands, the page of wands comes in and says, You're about to unleash some passionate messages. You feel enthusiastic and excited, and you are about to unleash some passionate messages. Justice comes on top of that page of wands and says that you are have spoken your truth. You have spoken your truth on the inside to yourself. You are justified now, right? Because you've spoken your truth. This page of wands is going to deliver passionate messages. This knight of wands follows behind that page of wands and reiterates delivering passionate messages to six of cups, somebody in your past, somebody that you want to reunite or reconcile with. Renewal. Somebody that you want to reunite or reconcile with, with the magician that you have manifested for a good minute. Hermit mode says that you've done some thinking on this, okay? This isn't just a willy-nilly impulsive kind of thing. You've really done some thinking on this. You've done some soul searching, some introspection, and you feel strong. You feel strong, right? You feel strong, and there it is again. Strong. You feel strong, and you're going to take some swift action forward in order to secure your four of wands, in order to secure celebration harmony, relationship, home, community, maybe even marriage. You're going to take swift action forward to secure the foundation of a relationship so you can begin to build your future. Three of Wands comes in and says you're making a plan. You are making a plan on how to do this. Two of, two of Wands comes in says you're planning for your future. You're at a crossroads. You have two paths to go on. You are choosing the path that you are going to walk. The chariot says that you have the determination, the willpower, and the control to take whatever action is necessary in order to achieve your success. Your success, my friend, is the two of cups, a unified love partnership. There you go. That's your reading. That was amazing. That's amazing. If you liked it, like it. If you want to share it, share it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Oh, let me hit this. Let me hit the hot spots real quick. Okay, let's talk about what we have on the board. As far as the minor arcana goes, we have everybody on the board. We have, we have um, water energy. We have fire energy. We have earth energy. We do not have any air energy, though. There is no air energy on this board. As far as major arcana go, we have Libra with the justice, Aquarius with the star, Leo twice with the strength, Virgo with the hermit, and Cancer with the Chariot, all right? So if any of that applies to you, awesome. If it doesn't apply, that's okay too because we share the energies of the cards. The cards don't own us, right? All right, namaste, my friends, namaste.